Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Frugal Grocery Haul where I shop for our family of six on a monthly $500 budget. I'm Kristen here at Joyfully Thriving and I love stretching our family money. I mean, okay, it's a, does anyone really love stretching their budget? I, you know, it can be a challenge, but I accept that challenge and I am determined to get every penny out of it I can, as I can. And one of the ways I do that is by shopping all the sales, which is why I started sharing these deals and hauls with you every Thursday on the channel. So I have a Meyer haul to show you this week. Those sales, even though the total will count for my April total, I was stretching out those last couple dollars out of my budget, the sales are still going on. So you can still grab those deals this week too. I will be going back for the strawberries and you'll see why <laughs> in a minute. Then I also did the Kroger haul because there were some Kroger deals and you know I can't pass up a good deal at Kroger. So I'm gonna show you that as well. Those sales also are current and I have something super exciting to show you, something I've been back and forth on for a long time, but I'm excited to see how this stretches our budget because, okay, spoiler, I got a food dehydrator. Really excited about this. London Sunshine actually reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in trying their one of their new food, new food dehydrators. And so I said, yes, I'll give it a try. I'm super impressed by it, guys. I will show it to you and how it's working already. Plus, they also gave me a special deal. So if you've been considering a food dehydrator, you're definitely gonna wanna stick around and watch. Even if you haven't, wait till you see it. But, all right, let's get to the groceries first and then I'll talk more about the food dehydrator. We'll start with Meyer, and then I'll show you Kroger. Here we go. Okay, this is accounting for my April total, last trip of April, but I did get it this week at Meyer, so sales are good. This was a seven for seven, so everything I bought here was a combination of that, except strawberries also happened to be 99 cents. Grab three of those. I'm gonna try dehydrating some at my new food dehydrator, and we're gonna eat some fresh. But grab this white chocolate jello pudding for a dollar because I did that new mousse cup recipe. With that, you need white chocolate, and it's hard to find. So can't get generic when I grab two of those. Onions, three pounds for a dollar, which is great. Golden potatoes for a dollar, three pounds. And then the cucumber was a dollar. So for this total of everything, restocking produce was ten ninety-seven. All right, here is this week's haul. You can tell it is the beginning of May because the Cinco de Mayo deals are great. I talked about this in my May sales video. If you haven't checked it out already, you're gonna wanna check it out because you wanna get all those deals for May. All right, grab milk because I was there, two sixty nine. dollars Old El Paso is still on sale for buy one, get one free. So that makes, it's two ninety nine dollars at my store and then you get one free, but if you average it out, $1.49 for the taco shells, which that's great. Grab four of those to restock. And then the enchilada sauce, this works out to $1.25 each, which is great. This is my favorite brand. Yes, I know I can make it myself, but convenience, I'm doing that right now. Also this week, the holy guacamole happened to be buy one, get one free. So it's normally $3.99 at my store, which would make it $2, but I also had another coupon. So I ended up paying $2.99 for two of them, $1.50 each. That's a great deal. Super excited about that. Pace is the buy or it's the limit five deal this week for a dollar 49 every time i say pace i always think of the old <laughs> commercial you remember that made in new york city i just always think of that okay so a dollar 49 i do can my own salsa but i grabbed two jars right now because i'm coming down to my last couple jars from my garden so i wanted to grab just a little bit that's a great deal Mission tortilla chips, a dollar forty-nine. Great price for tortilla chips. Clip the digital coupon. Clip the digital coupon to get all those deals. I'm just so excited, and you can do a limit of five. So yes, I grabbed all five of those. Applesauce, a dollar ninety-nine. Still restocking for lunches here. We have another month left of school, so staying on top of that. I also had a dollar thirty coupon off when I purchased two, so that took that down to a great deal. Peanuts, I happen to notice were $1.99 each when you clip the, again the digital coupon for 50 cents off. This was a limit five, but I grabbed two. These don't expire for a while. I'll stick them on the shelf for next time I make peanut cluster candies. These were clearance at our store and they don't expire till September. We absolutely love these. It was 2.30. I hope they're not getting rid of them. I don't buy them a lot, but if you're doing like a dip, a sweet dip, I do a cookie dough dip and I put these sticks with it. Oh my goodness, so good. So I grabbed those. You always wanna watch on your shelves. You just never know what's gonna be on clearance. Then it was produce. Grabbed two bananas, one was already eaten. Jalapenos were actually $1.29. So grab that to make some jalapeno poppers. One bell pepper 
pepper, 79 cents. Scored on the clearance, a chopped, this was a, a Fiesta salad kit here for $1.50, looked great. But Brussels sprouts, my husband will be thrilled, $1.96 for that 24 ounce bag and they look great. So I was really excited about that. And then some of my dehydrated fruit. I did strawberries with some of that from Meyer, as well as apples that I got on clearance. I've already, we've already been eating some of those as you can see. So speaking of that, let's get to the food dehydrator and then we'll wrap this all up with how my May will go. Here's my new food dehydrator, as clean as it's ever going to get with all those metal trays right there. And you can actually store the um, fruit trays, like for fruit leather, at the bottom. They say to use that actually as a drip tray, which I love. They're a good size tray, just to show you. I mean, it's a little taller than the actual machine right there. And there are six different trays that all slide in, super easy to set up, looks great. So we are going to give it a try. This is just in my corner by the washing machine. We're going to give it a try for the very first time by putting in three pounds of apples all sliced up there and we'll see how it goes. So let's give Hi. it a try. There's Caleb and this is our new food dehydrator. I just got super excited to give it a try. Just chopped up three pounds of apples. They said about a quarter inch thick. Hi. There's Caleb. He's excited too to see how this works. I'm really excited. I used to have one of these that was a lot smaller, but they, London Sunshine, asked if I would give it a try and actually I was very curious too because I like the idea that this is more a commercial size. I like the metal trays. I mean, look how big those are. And there's six of these trays. You can coat them with the fruit leather trays, which are at the bottom. And they actually recommend doing those and just keeping them as like a crumb tray. So this is it. I mean, look how nice that looks. It just sits right back here in my corner. Caleb's super excited. So I'm gonna load it up with apples and then we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, filled up. This was three pounds of apples, and look, it didn't even take up four trays. So it said about a quarter inch thick. This is me giving it a try. I just sliced them there. I did some. This is like two apples right there, just as a reference here. And then I have two more of the plain, and I didn't even use all of them. Like this third, fourth tray wasn't even super full. So super easy, love how easy it slides in. All right, and then all we have to do is just plug it in. Let's see which way my outlet goes. And then look how easy this is here. So it shows you this, you hit your time temp, and this one actually says to start at 140, or no, I think actually what said 135, 40. And then we're gonna do time, you hit the time, and it said anywhere from six to seven hours. So it's set in the 135 to 143 range, so we're gonna go with that. We have our time go up a little bit, looks like, or it jumps up by eight, so I guess we're gonna do that. We're gonna do 140. We're gonna go ahead, and you know what, let's move it up to seven just so it can see. And then all I have to do is hit start. And look at that. On we go, super quiet. I'm really impressed so far. Okay, I haven't gotten anything out, but like it was packed really securely. It's super easy to set up. You basically wipe everything down, slide in the trays. I love the space. This is just kind of sitting in my laundry room here on the counter. Like it just fits underneath a shelf right here. I don't know if this is where I'm gonna leave it, but it's super quiet, looks really nice and We'll check back and see how things turn out here when this first tray of apples is done. And here we go, first batch is finished. Look at that, I barely heard it. I have to admit it was so quiet, like this was way quieter than anything that I've ever heard any food dehydrator, quieter than the dishwasher, quieter than the washing machine, super quiet and they look perfect I have to admit, I just tried one and they taste perfect too. So success, first one. We'll see how the kids like them now. Second attempt at using the food dehydrator. Just put in two pounds of strawberries, sliced them a quarter inch thick, 148 hours. 
easy to set and I'm going to bed. We'll see what they look like in the morning. And here are the strawberries all done while I was sleeping. Look at that. What a great food dehydrator. Okay, so like I said, food dehydrator. I've only been using it for about a week. I've done a couple things in it, but I'm super excited. A long time ago, I had just one of those cheap $30 food dehydrators. It worked okay, but it just, it was loud. It Things always fell through the cracks. I just didn't end up using it a lot, and I ended up selling it for $15. I was just like, I, it just didn't work great. But I always thought, you know, if I could have one that was quiet, more professional, could do a lot at once, then that's what I want. Well, this one is, this London Sunshine, it's a six tray, more professional, industrialized one that you can use. The trays, they're beautiful. It is so quiet, you guys. Like, I don't even hear it. Like, you think of the noise of a dishwasher, which is pretty quiet. Washing, washing machine's louder than the dishwasher. Okay, dishwasher, yeah, food dehydrator, less than half that volume. It is so quiet. I did the strawberries during the day, didn't hear them at all or the apples during the day, didn't hear it at all. Did the strawberries overnight, super quiet, woke up. It shuts off as soon as it's done, so that was great. Now, it's a little bit more, I get that. It is normally $230 for this food dehydrator, but you get what you pay for, you know. I did notice it's currently on sale for 160, plus I have a coupon code for an additional 10% off if you use the coupon code joyfully when you're checking out. I will leave the link below in the description. You are by no means under any obligation to purchase it, but if you have been looking around for a food dehydrator, I would really recommend this one. I have been super impressed and I'm gonna put it to the workout this summer. I hope to have a garden again. I'm gonna keep dehydrating, but I love the idea of having another way to preserve those good deals produce-wise. So again, it's normally 230. It is currently on sale for 160. You use the coupon code. It takes it down to under 150. For what you're getting, I feel like that's a really good deal. So if you're in the market, just saying, the link's below. You can go ahead and check it out. So I'll talk more about it in the future, or if you want to see more in depth, let me know. If you have questions, of course, leave them in the comments. You know I'm there to chat with you all every time. All right, so my Meyer haul, I did end, or, end under budget for the month of April. It was 1097 at Meyer. That pulled me in really close to my 500. May, new month, super excited. I spent 4518 on that haul at Kroger. I did buy some tortillas that I thought were Want buy one get one free as well but when I got up there they were not so I had those voided right away because I'm not spending seven dollars on tortillas um, I can get better deals than that so $45 to start out I am sticking to my monthly $500 budget but here's what you need to know May and Memorial Days this is the month of meat sales super excited ground beef has gotten ridiculously expensive we all know that so around Memorial Day is typically when you see ground beef go on sale my goal is to stock up on as much as I can at a sale price to get us through pretty much the whole year I really do like I would like to buy Mm -hmm. 50 70 pounds of ground beef we do a lot of hamburgers and just cooking with it we're doing more chicken and pork as well but we do like ground beef so I have an extra freezer I am intentionally trying to keep our budget lower this month just so I have that wiggle room when the end of the month comes to stock up on ground beef I don't know what the price of it is going to be this month um, I'm just hoping we see sales anything's got to be better than the 399 I've been paying that's the best sale I've seen around me I know a couple of you have started seeing sales on ground beef already which is super exciting if you are curious what else typically goes on sale in May I just posted the new May sales video and I will leave that link in the description as well those are some of the things I'm gonna be watching for on sale this month all right so that was my haul not a huge haul but again like I said I will still be here every Thursday Thursday showing you everything I got because I know you love the deals too and it's so nice to have this community here who gets just as excited as I do over a good deal I can't tell you how much it makes me smile when I hear you guys going yes I love that deal or I got that one too thank you um, and just sharing your deals that you're finding even at different stores as we're all around having that encouragement is encouraging for me as I try to encourage you to stretch your budget we're all in this together and that's why I'm here so until next week, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video.